Yo, 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 what's going on down, man? It's your boy, Sir Quentin, from Best of the Best Entertainment, where we keep our eyes and our ears open for local, global, up-and-coming and established artists. Today, we rocking out with Mr. Do Yourself. It's Mustafa Kamu Il, man. And see, you can find me on Instagram, Sultan underscore Kamu. So S-U-L-T-A-N underscore K-H-A-M-O-U. Then go on YouTube. Go to your search bar, type in K-H-A-M-O-U space E-L. That's Kamu Il. Timeless gonna pop right up. You're gonna see all our videos and shit. And then uh make sure you subscribe. Leave a subscription and shit. No bullshit. So first of all, congratulations on winning that Shut Up and Rap showcase. Yeah. Right so too. uh what was your secret behind winning that showcase? Believing in myself. It's just simple as that. I believe in me. Shit, if you don't believe in you, ain't nobody else going to believe in you. So you just got to believe in you. So really, well, all it was was just me believing in myself, believing that I could do this rap shit and do it to the best of my ability everywhere I go. So you kind of smoothed over the name. So where that name come from? Um, Mustafa Kamu Il. So Mustafa is an Arabic word for... uh. The Chosen. Kamu comes from the Metuneter. The Metuneter means the writings of God, which is the hieroglyphs in the pyramids that you find. You know, all the writings on the wall. I know all y'all seen that. And they call that the Metuneter. So uh, there were some black scholars who broke down what those hieroglyphics meant. You know what I'm saying? And they found out that the Egyptians didn't call themselves Egyptians. They called them, they called their land Kemet. And then they called themselves the Kamu. And so that's where Kamu came from. You get what I'm saying? So, and then Il is a tribal name. So Il just simply mean uh, God or Creator or you know stuff like that. If you look all, you gonna hear Il all throughout the scriptures, like Gabriel, um, Angel Il, um, Ezekiel. Um, you gonna hear you gonna hear Il all the way all throughout all the scriptures and all that stuff. So it's really just. Il Elihim, you know what I'm saying? Il is, you know, that's a common, it just really, you know. It's like uh, a, a suffix, name. basically. Yeah. So uh, every time you come to the studio, we see you with the, your cap on. Uh, explain to us, because I'm not even referring to it as the right name. Can you tell us exactly what that is and what it entails? It's a uh, it's a kufi. In, uh, kufi. Okay, so it's like a, a Muslim cap. But if you go into uh, West Africa, you're going to see a lot of, you know, Africans wearing kufis, you know. And it's really a, a sign of like, uh, for one, it's, 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 it's a sign of the righteous. And then uh, for two, it, it protects your mind. It was, that, that's the symbolism behind it, is to protect your mind. It's also a sign of rebirth because once you become a Muslim, you know, you reborn at that point. You a whole different person. If you wasn't a Muslim from birth, you know, you a whole different person type shit, so... It's, it's 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 just a sign of like rebirth. It's a sign of uh, somebody trying to protect their mind. You know, it's 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 a sign of uh, of consciousness. You know what I'm saying? If if they demonstrate in, in the correct manner. Indeed. So protect your mind. Like dig deeper into that. Like what do you mean by protect your mind? So you have to protect your mind. Uh. So well, the greatest example is like the ghetto. Um. A lot of our uh, people right now, they perishing due to the lack of knowledge because uh, um, we've been taught falsehoods about ourselves. We've been taught to hate ourselves and stuff like that. And so we've been taught that um, it's not good to be our skin tone. We've been taught that, you know what I'm saying? We've been taught to hate everything about ourselves from our natural hair to, you know, our, our just everything about us due to uh, white supremacy. And that's why you got to protect your mind because when that type of falsehood is able to enter your mind and then eventually you start to believe it because you keep hearing this. When you go look at the movies and you see us in movies, what we doing? We gang banging. We got guns. You know what I'm saying? We shooting each other up. You know what I'm saying? But then when you go look at the white people, what they doing? They lawyers. They families. They in the house with their kids. You know what I'm saying? 
You know, in science, it's, it's a reason for that. You know, like, it's like your role. If they picking your role out before you could pick your role out in life because they showing you who you're supposed to be via the media. And it's like, shit, you got to protect your mind from that because that's not who he is. You know what I'm saying? Who he is really is the, uh, the gods of the earth, the creators of the earth, the indigenous people of the earth. We the first people on the earth, we the mothers and fathers of humanity type shit. That's the proper... Um, uh, name for us, you know, it's, it's, it's the first people. We were the people that was created in the book of Genesis on day five that was made in the image and the likeness of God on day five, along with the creation and every, every, everything else. And that's what I'm seeing. So it's like, that's who he is, but we don't get that knowledge. They don't even tell you. They will never tell you nothing like that. That's you something they're did. not going to tell you. You just did, man. You just told us, man. So, um... That's that's deep. That's deep knowledge right there, man. And we just uh, gotta protect our minds. Indeed. So, uh, the music you perform had the crowd moving, man. So, uh, explain your recording methods and um, and who is your engineer? Me, and <laughs> I'm the engineer. But like, all right. So, like, my method is like, if you listen to a lot of my music, like, uh, I've studied well. How do I say that? I want to say the right thing. So like, like I I I I pretty much have listened to music enough to understand the crowd that I'm trying to reach and what they want to hear. You know what I'm saying? So like a lot of uh like my music and a lot of my beats and stuff like that, you're gonna hear a war drum that do 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 you gonna hear that shit. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of people don't know. We've been playing that beat since the ancient days when we was getting ready to go to war with other tribes. You would do, 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 do. We've been playing that forever. It get us in mode automatically. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, that's really, so I, I look for them war drums and then that's why I, those are the beats that I choose. You know what I'm saying? I really just lick them war drums, summon a certain spirit within me type shit. I be feeling like I'm possessed or some shit. Just, lyrics just start coming to my head as soon as I hear them. Them war drums, it, it just start, it start coming out of me. You know what I'm saying? You can ask anybody who seen me record, they bear witness to it. They know I don't be writing. I come up with that right then and there because the spirit is right then and there. The best energy is right then and there. I don't, I can't write because. So you basically punch, you punch in. Yeah, I lot. punch in mm -hmm. all my songs. But the thing is, is like, I can't write because I have to rap it right then and there. If I write, I'm not going to be able to capture that same energy next week. So it ain't going to sound as authentic. So I got to wrap it right then and there. So I just said, I'm going to just fuck the writing. I'm just going to spit whatever comes to my mind in the microphone right then and there. And it come out the best. So you said a demon come out of you. So does no, that explain, not a demon. Does not that a demon. explain why the people warrior. think of uh, the warrior? Does that explain why people think that you look so mean? Explain why you why do you look so mean? Why, why people say you look so mean? No, nah, that come from my dad. <laughs> That's what that come from. Shit. We look at, well... Everybody say we look alike, but like, you know, like, I know I do got his eyes, you know what I'm saying? We got like what look like a natural mean mug, but we not really mean mugging. It's just how we naturally look. So I've been like, everybody think I be mad when I really don't be. I be in a good mood. But if it's like, if I'm not smiling, then I look like, you know, I'm mean mugging you type shit. That's just something I can't even control because I'm definitely not that kind of person. I'm definitely not. Like, you know, I'm I'm a pretty I'm a, I'm an introverted extrovert. Like when you when you in the flesh with me, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm, I'm, I'm Hold on, I'm hold on, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Say that again. I'm an introverted extrovert. Swear to God, like, cause like all right, when I get around people, I don't what know. What does like that entail? When I get around people, I don't know like that shit. I don't even really be wanting to talk. They be strangers, but I'm around my people. I'm an extrovert like a motherfucker. I be talking all kind of shit. Or if you come one on one with me in the flesh, you know I'm a whole different person. Copy that, sir. Copy that. Copy that, sir. Yes, sir. I, I get it. So, uh, it, it's it's time for some shout outs, man. So, uh, you got music videos out here. Who who is your videographer? Orange Russell. Who? Orange Russell. Who? Orange Russell, <laughs> that's my nigga. Orange Russell, <laughs> shout out Orange Russell, man. That's my dog. I ain't gonna lie, like that's that's a good nigga, good person. And then not not only is he a good person, but he's a very good videographer. His mind is in that. When he come, he come ready. He he help you with ideas. I'm not very good with coming out with videos. I can admit that. You know what I'm saying. So he say like I don't got a video director yet. 
You know what I'm saying? But like he serves as that when he comes. Like he's able to come up with ideas to help out with the video. Cause like, you know what I mean? It's hard to, it's just having a million different things on, on your hands. It's hard to like put your full focus on, I full focus on rap. So like videos, I be needing help with. Indeed, man. Shout out Orange Russell, man. What up, man? So uh, where, where can we find these videos at? YouTube. You know YouTube. what I'm saying? I keep, I keep all my videos on YouTube. I keep previews all over Facebook, Instagram. You know what I'm saying? So, like, uh, the easiest way to find the timeless page is, is to type in my name because you know how the internet works. Whoever got the, the most views type shit, you know, it's going to make it easier for it to pop up. So, like, you type in K-H-A-M-O-U-E-L. I'm going to pop right up. Kamu il I'm going to pop right up. And then, like, you're going to see it's going to say Timeless TV. Just hit the subscription button. And then, like, I ain't going to lie. It's, like, three videos on the way already. Um, and I got one with uh, Sir Quentin. You know what I'm saying? So I got like three videos already coming out now. And then I'm waiting on now. And then uh it's gonna be a lot of content. I try to drop I try to drop at least every two weeks. You know what I'm saying? So I try to keep some new music coming. My music gangster and at the same time conscious. So like you're gonna hear certain cuts where I ain't talking ignorant and you're gonna hear certain cuts where I'm the most ignorant. Because mm -hmm. man, it's truth and falsehood is strangely mixed. Everybody is like that. Yeah, so Man, you dropping so many gems on me right now. I'm 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 absorbing it all in, man. So uh, yeah, y'all be uh, y'all stay in tune for that that video with Sir Quentin. This is the contest winner. In case y'all just tapping in, this is the Shut Up and Rap Showcase winner, Kamu Il, and he went crazy. Uh, so um, <clears throat> he does have the record label, Timeless Entertainment. And uh, with that said, it's a lot of artists under the label. It's not hard. I gotta say that under nobody is under me. Uh, so nobody Ooh. is my artist. Uh, these are independent entrepreneurs. We working together. We working together. That we 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 partners. I ain't. I'm not the boss of nobody. I right, like we. When you see timeless, you see all of us. Yeah, you see everybody. It's I'm nobody is under me. I'm not above nobody. I'm not below. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We definitely nobody. saw that at the showcase. Mm -hmm. They hold just as they they hold just as weight, just as much weight as anything I say. And they all smart, and they all got their own you know thoughts on things. And man, look, I, I I I'm blessed to be around good people. You are man. So uh, who are these good people? Shit, man, I got crazy flow and. There's a reason we call him Crazy Flow, man. He got the craziest flow. Like on my mama, like he get on tracks and straight bars. You know what I'm saying? He he specializes in turn up music. I ain't gonna lie, that nigga turn a party up. That's one thing about Crazy Flow. We got DCD. You know what I'm saying? Like you know he a realist. You know what I'm saying? He a reality rapper. Like he one of them that's gonna bring the real to you. You know what I'm saying? He ain't gonna do no bullshit. He gonna tell you what it really is. You know what I'm saying? We got Tay P. He do R and B and he rap. You know what I'm saying? He young, he cold. You know what I'm saying? He got a lot of talent. You know, he got everything that he need to blow. You know what I'm saying? Everybody that I'm fucking with could blow by themselves. They don't need me. <laughs> I don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, we just working together. You know what I'm saying? Because unity is the call of the day. You know, we, we trying to unite. But it's just like, we got Tay P, DCD, you know what I'm saying? Uh, crazy Flow. Am I missing anybody? <laughs> Cause I got them. I smoke a lot of weed, so you know, I forget shit. <laughs> no, we go. If, if you are, man, you know you timeless, man. So yes, with that sir. said, man, we seen everybody rocking the timeless gear. So yes, where sir. can they find that timeless gear at? Right now, they gotta make a uh, custom order. So like, all right, I'd rather you hit me up on Instagram. You know, which is once again Salton underscore Kamu. You know what I'm saying? Um, so. If you hit me up on there, you know what I'm saying, shit, uh, we do custom orders, like, you know what I'm saying, we're going to put the logo on there, and then whatever, you know, you if you want, you know, whatever you decide that you want on there, or we could just, you know, send you a little basic t-shirt, you know what I'm saying, and then uh, it's going to be jogging suits coming, it's going to be uh, sweatshirts coming, it's going to be all of that shit, everything coming type shit, we're going to try to make that shit look player as possible, you know what I'm saying, basically, if I'm not going to wear it, I'm not going to sell it to you, type shit, if I, I'm going to sell you quality, I'm not going to sell you nothing. So it's like, with that being said, when I if I give you a shirt, it's going to be a quality shirt. If I give you anything, it's going to be quality, whatever I give you. So it's just like, I'd rather people hit me up on Instagram. But if you got me on Facebook, you hit me up on there. You know what I'm saying? Shit. Uh, but Instagram and, and Facebook, you know what I'm saying? That's the best methods of reaching me. And then I definitely make sure that you get your shirt. You just got to make a custom order. When the demand gets a lot bigger, 
then I'm just going to start having them on deck for everybody. So I just pull up on you and give it to you. So exactly yeah. what are they wearing? They're, they're wearing timeless. Explain exactly what what timeless entertainment entails. Timeless? The word timeless, if, if you pay attention to timeless, it's going to be spelled with three S's. You know, timeless is really spelled with two S's. But, you know, the reason why it got three S's is because it's an acronym. You know, and that acronym, only uh, the people that's in timeless know. You know, that's just something that uh, we keep amongst ourselves. But, um, you know, it's a circle going around a pyramid with the RCNI. Um, so the circle, you know, obviously with a circle, and it say timeless in the circle, but it's essentially a circle. And the circle represents 360 degrees of knowledge. You know what I'm saying? So uh, the full circle, the full cipher. You know, a circle just keep on going. And a circle is also timeless. It's infinite. It's no time to it. A circle will just keep going. Like a, a square won't do that, but a circle will keep going. It'll just keep circling and circling. It's, it's a representative of infinite, infinite knowledge. You know what I'm saying? And that's what timeless, you know, really is. It's something that's forever. It's something that, you know, it's meant to be. After I die, I, I still want motherfuckers to be timeless. It's a, it's a, it's a uh, way of thought. It's, you get what I'm saying? And then like the pyramid, you know what I'm saying? And all C and I, you know, we hold rights to that as God's people and as the people who birthed civilization and created civilization. And when I say we God's people, I'm talking about us, you know, black people, uh, people with our hue, you know what I'm saying? So the, that rightly belongs to us. That's why I put it in our logo because that rightly belongs to us. And all C and I is obviously the, the eye of God or some people would say eye of Horus, but it all represents the same thing. You know, that, you know, the creator, you can't escape him. Allah, whatever you want to call it, I call it my law. But uh, what it, you know what I'm saying? You can't, you can't escape that. And then the pyramid represent the birth of our civilization. You know what I'm saying? Because when you think of the pyramids of Egypt, you think of the birth of civilization, the ancients, the, the first people who created math and all the sciences and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? And that rightly belongs to us because we were the people by genes, by DNA, whatever you want to, whatever. We are those people. We just got kidnapped and brought to a foreign strange land for 400 years but that time is up now it's time for us to you know resurrect you feel me so it's like basically that symbolism rightfully belongs to us i know it's on the back of a dollar but you know you know these uh elites been stealing our uh knowledge or our um symbolism for ever you know what i'm saying so like that rightfully belongs to us that's why i put it in the logo and there's a seven in it. And if you pay attention, you know, the seven is obviously the number of uh, perfected men. That's what that means. Seven stands for the perfected men. That's why a lot of people think 777 is the number of God. You get what I'm saying? Because seven represents perfected man. Circle seven, you know, is what Jesus was. You know what I'm saying? Jesus was a perfected man. He was a person who, uh, a prophet, you know what I'm saying, who uh, had perfected himself on the earth land and began teaching the hot sciences. And then, you know, he got killed for that, you know. And we see a lot of people get killed for that, like Malcolm and, uh, you know, the black people, a lot of people in the Black Panthers and stuff like that. But um, those are the, some of the same people. They performed the same mission Jesus did back in the days. But it's like, that's what that means, Circle 7. We should all be trying to be Circle 7. In other words, just try to be the best person you could be. And, try, and when you wake up in the morning, make your intention to be righteous. And only demonstrate violence, you know what I'm saying, if you have to. So, yeah, this has uh, been a very, very informative interview uh, with Kamu Il, the Shut Up and Rap contest winner. As you yes, can sir. see, he's very knowledgeable. Um, I could go on and on and give plenty of synonyms on what well, represents his brother. Um, but yeah, he definitely is uh, a winner on, on, on all aspects. <laughs> yes, so uh, y'all tap in. Uh, he told you where to find you at. Uh, I'm just going to leave it with him to explain or tell you where to find him at or uh, give his last minute shout outs and I don't know. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm lost right now because I'm I gotta, lost, man. I, I, I want him some, to find me at this point. <laughs> I got to get some, I just need everybody to follow my Instagram, subscribe to the YouTube, and um, you'll find everything out 
from there. And Facebook. You'll find everything out from there. And then my name is Mustafa Kamuil on Facebook. It's uh, at Sultan underscore Kamu on uh, Instagram. And it's Kamuil on YouTube. But really, it's Timeless TV. But it's easier to find it if you type in my name. It's just easier to find it like that. But I am not Timeless. You know, Timeless is bigger than me. But uh, so whatever, whatever. It's like um, I want people to go and, and, and subscribe to that if you can. Cause we gonna have a lot of we got a lot of stuff that's coming out. We got videos and we got all type of content that's gonna be getting dropped. It's not me. It's gonna be plenty of artists on that page. So and don't miss out on them. You know what I'm saying? Cause they code. For real. All mm -hmm. every artist that I fuck with, they code. So it's like shit. Yeah, make you got sure a lot of them on the stage. And uh, y'all make sure y'all tap into that video that me and Mr. Kamu Ill is gonna be putting out on YouTube. And uh, yeah, this is Sir Quinn checking out for Best of the Best Entertainment. Y'all make sure y'all shut up and hustle.